trying to rescue Marshall in the research department, we've also got a new object of power that looks like it hypnotizes the hiss. So uh, those are the two things we're going to do. Uh, we should probably go to Marshall first, but I'm going to go to the objects of power. There's a bunch of hiss enemies here who are like hypnotized, eerily hypnotized by this object. They've turned friendly, which makes me think maybe we're going to have some sort of mind control ability that lets us have enemies on our side. I mean, this is so scary, right? This is so ominous looking. Um, I have messed around to try and fix the screen tearing thing in the cutscenes. Um, so it is V-Sync related, but um, I need V-Sync to lock the game at 60 frames to record for YouTube. Um, I've tried limiting the frame rate in NVIDIA Control Center. That caused screen tearing in the gameplay but cleared up the screen tearing in the cutscenes and if I have to pick between one or the other I'd rather the game run smooth and we just have to it's not that bad the cutscene integrity still is fine you know we can still tell what's going on so I, have to, I just there's not really much I can do uh, there will be whatever I do there will be screen tearing right, so there's an object of power over there um, did we have a quest log for this? This is so scary. Look at all of them! Oh, have they got hoods on? I thought they were all evil bald guys. Never mind, guys. I'll, I'll, I retract my accusation. Everybody stay calm. Not controlled remotely. Okay, I guess we're not getting to this right now. So yeah, um, the cutscenes will just have to remain to look that way. Um, the only other option is to play the game in DirectX 11, but that means no ray tracing, because uh, you need DirectX 12 for ray tracing, so um, I like I like my ray tracing. I've got to, <laughs> I want to use it, right? <laughs> Makes the game look better. Okay, let's hope this doesn't aggro everyone. control unit Oh, I can see a pattern. Can you guys see that? I'm not in the way. Just just above where it says control unit in the window, there is a symbol like that. Nice. Thank you. I like a little puzzle and I thought they'd all have disappeared then. Okay, recording check, we're fine. I don't know what that unlocked, it, hopefully it unlocked this. Nice. You have to walk around this game slowly, it's so atmospheric. So atmospheric. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astromark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dimension? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary? Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Warren. Mr. Warren. So 
So there's some sort of frequency that this is emitting that like paralyzes them. Use C's to complete the astral plane challenge. Jesse learns of another object of power. An X-ray light box in the hypnosis lab. Jesse locates the object of power being researched in the hypnosis lab. But we need to get this thing first. How do I use... Do I need to go and get it first? Golden copy NPC variation. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how do I use this ability? Enemies at low health can be seized. Nice, we can still move a bit while it's happening. Take him down! Okay, great! Fell off the bloody edge. I'm still low health, what a jip. Come hither. Ah. God's sake, take him down. You are an awful shot, man. Word director, the x ray can now be validated. Sure. Main gameplay objective for this video is to be more lib uh, to use the shield more. Are they all dead? New bureau alert. Bad feeling about going back out here. You guys aren't going to come back alive, are you? Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Yeah, not good. All right, let's go and rescue Marshall. She probably would have died by now if you know video game timelines and everything. Yeah, we need to use the shield a bit better. And we've got this new seize ability. Hopefully we'll continue getting new abilities. Definitely makes things more interesting. So they have to be at low health though. So. If we can get like one of those rocket launcher guys on our side, right? Um, we didn't have enough experience points to level up. Okay, so to the left here, right? Marshall. 
Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right. Hmm. More of you? Really? <laughs> Chill out here while you kill them. Nice work. Oh. Oh, and then he dies afterwards. Good to know. Shame for him. Oh. Weird that we got enemies next to a control point, right? Means we're not safe. Let's just have a quick uh, look at the map here. So there are a few other areas to explore here. Oh, it's going to maybe lead back to a previous area. Uh, we've been there, right? I feel like I've been here. God. Glitch in the Matrix. Deja vu. Yeah, let's just go and talk to Marshall. She needs help. You're still alive and kicking, right? Not like Tomasi. Well, uh, we will re watch the rest of the Hotline videos. Uh, we've probably got some reading to catch up on as well that I'll get to. Right. Hello, friendlies. They've got the chest pieces on. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. The luck lab. <laughs> oh, awesome! A luck lab. Fascinating. What happened to you? Someone killed this guy. He's got the chest piece, chest piece on. The rubber duck supplement. Rubber duck, AI 52-AE. Background: Discovered in the home of Agent Redacted after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent Redacted, Agent X, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update, it was discovered that Agent X was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent X has been terminated? Is this Agent X? Jesus! All that over a rubber duck! Yes, I understand. Mind your tone. Don't, do not rush me, I am the director. <laughs> if I was to ever, like, have my own evil bald guy army, these helmets <laughs> would be what I'd force them to wear. <laughs> Look, it looks like everyone's bought an evil bald guy. And it's like they've got the, the headphones make it look like they've got a bit of a horseshoe. You know, like the bald guy's shame when he doesn't shave his head. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Luck and probability, of course. So did they see me fighting down here? Yeah, look. I'm 
I'm sure that's where we came in, right? They must have seen everything. And they were right here. Maybe maybe this all got reorganized. Okay, okay. Abilities. Uh, we've got three whatever points. Whatever they're called, points. <laughs> Um, I have been heavily investing into launch quite a bit, but we're getting new abilities. So, uh, the seize duration, so it does run out, but they do die immediately. Temp, this is just increased to duration. We can only seize one at a time, I'm, it seems like, at this point. So we can, so 5, 15, 25, 35, 50. We can increase the seize duration by 75%. We, okay, so currently we can't seize large enemies. Good to know. Like that guy who uh, who we fought at the end of the last video before we got the control point just before this bit. Two enemies maximum. Okay. So obviously having a puppet, they can do damage themselves, but they, they're important to draw fire away from us, right? So uh, probably a good idea to prioritize getting one of them out, particularly because... I am a little bit, um, I, I do hang about and like uh, you guys have been saying, you know, it's important to move a lot. And while I understand that when I'm under fire, I do tend to try and hide and cover a bit too much. Um, but I, I guess the, the counter to that is if you've taken damage and you're low health, you're only going to get health by going towards the enemies or the dead enemies. Because they're, they're the only ones who drop health. So I guess it is balanced to force you to move that way. Maybe we take an increase to melee damage with that in mind. How much is this? This is a 1. So um, seize duration might be good. Extra shield strength. I think that this shield barrage... Shield barrage would actually be really good. It would give some utility to shield rather than it being purely defensive. So I think um, I'm going to unlock shield strength and seize duration. Yeah. Just to get some basic stuff upgraded here. I mean, I don't know, again... It's difficult sometimes because obviously this isn't really an RPG, but it has this is like an RPG system. But a lot of tr some AAA games, when they have a tree like this, generally by the end of the game, it gets maxed out. But if it is more role play, we will have to build a specific kind of Jesse. Uh, maybe you guys could tell me that. Am I just going to max this out if I play enough of the game? Or am I going to have to prioritize certain play styles? I, I don't really know just yet. Um, what am I... Sh st still a bit short of source material. I think it's because I died so many times. I would really like that. I'd like a sniper rifle, though. Um, new mods. Um, I just want to talk to Marshall at the minute. Uh, 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 just sorry to keep talking about how these guys are dressed. They really remind me of the trauma team in Cyberpunk. I know this came out before Cyberpunk, but Cyberpunk, the book, has been around for like nearly 40 years at this point. So a, a little bit, just 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 the a little bit like trauma team. Just reminds me of it. Doesn't mean it has any, any influence on it. Right, Marshall. I'm interested to meet you, friend. I've got injured injured personnel here. There you are. I was starting to worry. Lucky horseshoe. Or is it a magnet? I don't I don't even know. Can I read that? Is that possible? So what would what does that mean? 
So when you turn the horseshoe upside down, it releases something. That green energy is released. Huh. But they've got a plan of attack here that we're obviously going to become a part of. You've got a cool jacket. Fur-lined. Maybe we're going to get some new clearance levels here. Marshal. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Hmm, very stoic. Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're going to survive this attack. Right. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk he more after you clear out the hiss. He's a, pra a pragmatist. Rangers, let her through. Definitely. We have to lock the door behind you. Okay. Sorry, fair but we can't risk a breach. Yeah. Yeah. Just a complete pragmatist, right? Collins, what's the situation? She probably feels Sports like a complete aberration in a place like this. Uh, sorry, I, I pressed pause instead. I don't know why they put it on select. Um, the key card level we've got. Ah, oh, we're still on level three. Only exit is back through parakinesiology. Then there's no way we're going to survive. Only option is to hold here okay. and wait for an opening. Then we put everything we've got into one final push. We wouldn't last a minute out. Find Darling's HRA lab. We need to retreat from this land. We're dead. We're on our own, I guess. Help me out, friend. Shoot somebody. You're going. No, that's not what I wanted. That's like a healing bubble. Say, oh, I'm shooting my own guys. Are you guys alright? I think I lost a few of them there. Crap. Oh! Fancy cutscene version. Shit. 
Chief Loomis. He's got a re he's got a, re a shield that regenerates. Yeah, don't stop going so close to him. Right, I need some help. Go, friend, go. Damn it. Help, please. Oh, God, he can fly. Oh! He's got shields as well. Damn it! Two can play at that game, buddy! He's still got minions left. Oh, damn it. I need the help. Where is, where's the big boy? shooting at me. Yeah, two can play at that one, big man. Nice. Nice work, friend. Savor these moments before it all ends. Number three. Pierce aimed... <laughs> That's so harsh. Pierce aimed fire boost. Oh! Don't know how I survived that. I'm pleased I did, though. I think everyone died. Um, maybe we got enough sauce to... I love that it's called sauce. <laughs> I love that it's called sauce just because... I don't know if this is a universal saying, but when like someone's, you know, done drugs or like is really drunk, you say they've been on the sauce. Ah, he's been on the sauce, the secret sauce, the magic sauce, whatever. As in, you know, S A U C E, the sauce. Tomato sauce, right? The sauce. So, <laughs> like, I've got enough sauce. Have I got the gear? <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Right, Pierce. Um, I will be using that right now because I like snipers with sniper rifles. If, well, I'm, I'm being presumptuous. I'm, I'm guessing that's what that is. Hang on, let's shoot it first. So it's a charge shot. That, that is very accurate, I guess. I, I like that. I like that. Charge is quite quick. And it's got two shots before we're completely depleted. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, okay, so... There was stuff that's specific for this, right? So, better accuracy, obviously. Extra damage on low health. Probably good because it's a single shot weapon. Extra damage while aiming is probably particularly useful for a one shot gun. We're always going to be looking down sights. Damage against enemy armor. Definitely useful. 
That's low health again, 6% accuracy. We're going to need to start recycling these at some point because I think they, there are limited slots available here. Reload speed, headshot damage. I'm not going to be great with that. I think we take the extra damage while aiming, if I'm interpreting that right. We've picked up some new stuff. So, uh, recovery, so extra health recovery. Oh, but our launch energy costs more. Oh, no, it doesn't. What am I talking about? That's our other um, personal mod. So let's see if we can improve these at all. Um, at the minute, it's 31% for health recovery. I'd like to keep that. The launch energy cost is fairly minimal. Uh, we had a level 3 something. Just extra, extra flat, flat out extra energy. Um, I, I'm guessing energy is what we use to you know to use the telekinesis and stuff in the shield uh, extra max health oh, a lot of these are level one stuff we should probably recycle these I'll do that when we get full up as silly as that maybe seems uh, I'll stick with it as is well the launch energy take the, uh, each launch takes like half of it so that means the launch energy cost is saving 6% per launch. So... Alright, we need to find Darling's lab, which is just ahead. So let's have a look in the shelter. There was another shelter back there, I, I, I have realised that. Nice. Pierce aimed fire boost. Threshold kids proposal. Initiative proposal. The threshold kids. Problem. With the recent arrival of the threshold kids? Of the redacted, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young redacted. There are no other redacted for the redacted to play with, and the redacted is expected to learn about a, about fright about a frightening new concepts. This is some sort of otherworldly being. Is uh, the the being will require a slow human friendly? Uh, alien friendly introduction to paranatural topics with this in mind allow me to introduce the threshold kids a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the bureau but also show the fun side of the paranatural we've seen that show it's horrendous budget would be minimal i took a few puppet making courses at my local community center we can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It'll be good for morale. I guarantee that the alien will respond positively to these videos. We can't expect an alien to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats. But as television has proven for years, aliens love puppets. It might not be an alien. It might just be a child with abilities. But still. I don't know if leaving them open has a benefit. Like, whether that means friendly people can uh, stay in there. So what's this ritual office? Doesn't seem to lead anywhere on the map, at least. Oh, it's just uh, this elevator access. Um, I doubt the HRA lab's going to have it. Darling in it. Darling very much seems like the end game. We're only looking for HRA vests. The one thing I've really... Well, I've enjoyed all of this so far, but I like that we're getting human contact. I always feel like in a, in certain games like this, you know, there's a reason why a place is abandoned or destroyed and you're just kind of there and there's enemies. 
and you find out through the logs about what happened here. But I like that we've got pockets of survivors who are doing okay, right, to interact with. You need a really... That was my one problem, like, with the first Bioshock, was... I just wanted more people to talk to in person, not just over, like, the intercom thing. It's just me, me personally. More materials. Okay, so we've got these sound dampening things, or whatever they are. They're not sound dampening, they like help contain... Like they help to contain that uh, weird aggressive presence that we had to lock up. So, yeah. Altered item number 52AE analysis, session two. The dock. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my <laughs> words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. <laughs> Ooh, that was perfectly delivered, I have to say. <laughs> Is that another control point? This or way to the lab? No, just okay. giving me directions. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Mm. Or taken over by the hiss. Or somehow in cahoots with the ki with the hiss. Nearly called it the kiss then. Oh, look at the light in coming through. I, I, mean, I am wondering if I can turn off the, the, this little white highlight. Um, just it's just a little annoying outside of combat. Is that what that is? Item pickup notifications? Is that what that means? Ab absolutely not, no. Um. Loot drop icons. No, we need that. Mission overlay is fairly minimal. Low ammo, ammo warning, yeah. Crosshair. And the health bars, target indicator. Maybe it's that. No, oh, how weird. I just wish I could turn it off. Oh, I just wish it was dynamic, but um, I think there's a mod that, that does that, I'll, I'll, that I'll look into downloading. No, we definitely need the crosshair with my aiming. Sorry to menu scroll. We've got a little room back there. There's like a tunnel back there. We're in protective studies.
Okay. Are we gonna run into the goo again? Okay, some loot. Please, no more jump scares, man. This would be prime jump scare location right here. I'm looking forward to seeing what this gun does. This uh, mod, sorry, for the, for the, for the main gun. Launch efficiency. Okay, uh, I'm li I like little puzzles like this, so. Unclassified for official use only. Right. There we go. Oh, it's not as simple as that. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? Um, I think one of the uh, James Bond films did really cool text style introductions to the new locations. I can't remember which one it was. Our way in, too strong, Ch changing variables, leaks out. Obviously, it's not going to work. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Restart the punch card terminals and then activate the HRA machine. So everything's labeled. So number one, number two. Number five. Number three. So do we just pick all these up? We need to find all the punch cards. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Thank you. You concentrate on shooting things. Right, uh, the Black Rock Prisms. Utilization of paranatural elements, the Black Rock Prisms. Summary, Black Rock Prisms <laughs> are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique redacted structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range of something to something hertz with perfect redacted harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a something through a harmonized prism onto a something. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto something, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized residence something in the prism, will be explored and explained. Refer to random... Uh, hidden file for a full report okay the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces the prisms depending on the frequency okay okay punch cards punch cards 
That's three. Where are the rest of them? Do you know? Do you know? That's four. Now we need five, right? I think we need four. Five, sorry. Have you checked the upper floor? Do I tell you how to do your job? <sighs> Alright. Here we go. Configurations. Can we affect this? Okay. Number four is up here. That's all of them. Punch card should correspond to a terminal. Okay there, die hard men. Okay, some Death Stranding vibes, we just get tutorial explained for everything, right? If you guys haven't played Death Stranding. That's not really a spoiler, but the guy who does all the tutorial voices just never leaves you alone. Alright, number one. Um, hang on, I need to figure this out a bit more. These whiteboard drawings may be important. But what? Leave me alone, lady. Um, so I guess these are going to correspond to certain cards. Too strong. Is there any way for me to look at these cards? Oh, I need to read this now that I've gone over it. Field research on his entity, a his cluster, confidential. Summary, his clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This doesn't heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this part, can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Refer to redacted for the full report. So we've got one, two, three, four. Um, and there was some upstairs. It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Yes, yes, thank you, genius. Oh, well, there we've got one and I think one and four match the other one down there. So I guess it'll just be the, a process of elimination then. So like the radioactive looking one is number one. Let's go and test that out. Does that match this one? Yes. So radioactive man. Radioactive man. <laughs> right, you're number one. And number two is What are the symbols mean? Brownie left eye. Wait, is this two? Yeah. Um, number three is just taking MDMA. <laughs> Platelet eyes. Um, number four is like a chevron 
What do these whiteboards mean? So that means that this one's number five. There we go. That one looks a bit fuzzy, but... Oh. Maybe that's wrong then. That's number four, right? Try combination. Oh, be quiet, please. No, that is right, because that's lit up green. Is that re exactly the same as that one? Right, I need to try first. I'm fairly sure most of that is right. I think I was right first time, to be fair. Or maybe we're not supposed to put one in five. Huh. Okay, I seem to be missing the point. Okay, we need to maybe only use certain ones. Too powerful for our use. A feedback loop. Okay, so maybe some of them don't need to be plugged in. Like, none of these whiteboards have number five containing anything. Right, I understand. Right, so let's just try these various combinations. So let's have two and three activated. So two is on. Um, three is on. We've taken off one, five. We'll take off four. Try this. Bollocks! Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. I don't need your help. I will do this on my own. Right, I need to maybe interpret what these things say then. So one and four. I think they're saying that this one's wrong. They get a feedback loop. Too strong, changing variables. And we affect this.
Okay, definitely confused now. Too powerful for our use. A feedback loop from four to five. Too strong. Leaks out. Our way in. Changing variables. Okay, so maybe that means two and three need to be the other way around. And I do need to plug them all in. So that means your two number one is correct uh, your number three The only other thing I can do is to swap round four and five again. <sighs> okay, I take my everything I said, Marshall. I might need your help. Yeah, I think four and five are the other way around. Based on the arrows. Ah. <sighs> Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. Yeah, we do. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. <laughs> It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out.
Here, this will lead back to central research. Thanks. So oh, she very declaratively knew something about Dylan. Trench knew about something that was coming. Everything is still a mystery. walls. So could we, um, oh we can't get in there anymore. I was wondering about going to that, those uh, question marks. I will explore more thoroughly, I will. But, um, I think we found out what exploring too much did when we ended up down with all the mold and stuff. We just got completely wrecked. Right, let's uh, head back to maintenance before we go to executive. Maybe speak to Artie again. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan, once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? Oh, look at the way this is lit. I mean, I guess we're going to Black Rock Processing then, which is on our left. Oh, we already bit. We've already been here by accident, right? Hopefully, the enemies didn't respawn. Oh man! How dare you! They've got a ball. An annoying ball. Oh! Where do you think you're going, buddy? Let's pierce through walls. Get back. Oh, man. You work for me now. Give me some help. What blew up? It's one of those energy cell things. Come on. There were some guys over here, right? He just died. Right, I have no idea what happened to them. Yeah, what happened when we went through here? My mind is going blind. There was some weird bridge, right? Yeah. Look 
Look at this! Yeah, I remember. Hello! I am somewhere. Hey! Send me the bridge. Do I dare step across? Is it an invisible bridge? Probably not. Okay, strange. Definitely said it was this way, right? Yep. Definitely said it was this way. The turbine room. Maybe we need to turn turn it on. Something else we need to activate. There's something jamming this. need to try and jump across. It's this one in particular that doesn't seem to be... No way up there. Is there another power cell I need to? There's another way in. There might be. Is there a door on this side? No. Oh, there was some health scattered around here. That we're going to need if I continue with this harebrained scheme. there's a way across there man. like I plugged that power in feels like I should be able to d jump across Um, 
also sort of feels like I need to perhaps uh, trigger the quest somehow. Back here. Yeah. It's like I found it, but... There perhaps needs to be a better way into the access corridor. Hmm. Is there a way through field training? No. Okay, so maybe I need to go. Yeah. We need we we need to get on the other side, basically. So we need to go to the middle area. So we need to go to the power plant area. Maybe rest. You can't, it does, uh, that sniper rifle thing does pierce enemies. I'm fairly confident we can shoot through cover and stuff. So. Oh! What the hell keeps blowing up, man? Right, um... We need to get to the elevator. Something like that. I might do a sneaky fast travel here. Oh, cool, 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 cool. We can do some upgrading here. I would really like this shield release. Uh, requires three points. It just give me a reason to use it more often. So yeah, I'm definitely going to take shield barrage. Yeah. Um. I want to be here in the control room. I might be misreading the map, I don't know. So yeah, I want to take a left and take this access thing here. And then I want to cut through here. Yeah. Well. Didn't work. Shite. See, the map is so a bit, uh, well, yeah. 
difficult to read a bit. Feels like I'm not. Uh, there's an ability I don't have or something to get across. It feels like I should just be able to jump to jump across. Doesn't it? Really feels like I should just be able to jump across. Hmm. I mean, maybe there's another way in. Do the energy convert a bit. Alright, anyway, um, I'm going to have to leave the video there, guys, because we've reached the old 75 minute mark. Um, yeah, we met Marshall, we did a few puzzles, um, we ran into a bit of a wall here with the black rock processing. Uh, feels like we should maybe be able to jump across, but we just can't really jump that high. So maybe we're missing a, an ability. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll pick it up from here next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust a non-crate. I'll see you next time.